everyone and welcome back to the channel today is going to be a little bit different because i actually built a community lot which i have not done uh for a hot minute i don't think i've done a community lot build like a speed build on the channel but i have like shown community lots um i don't know community lots kind of like stress me out so i feel like when i build them it's usually off camera and then i do like a little tour um like after it's been built and that is true today as well so basically i built this kind of on a whim honestly i wasn't expecting to build this i just kind of came to salani and was like you know i've always been like for years wanting to build like a sort of like wildlife ocean kind of like museum or research center kind of thing because i wanted to have like a place where um like conservationist sims could go to and like do their work and everything um because i find like I don't know like there's something about having like doing the conservationist career and then not having like a place um like a workspace or like a lab or whatever to go to that feels weird to me like to just go home after um and then we have like all the conservationist sims like if you have the pack obviously that's the career that came with it um but if you have conservationist sims like around the world of sulani they'll be like walking around the world in like their full outfits and everything um, and just feels like they should have somewhere that they work out of. So, uh, yeah, this is like kind of a build that I've been wanting to do for a hot minute. So, um, yeah, I just kind of sat down the other day and unexpectedly finished this whole build in like a couple of hours. I think it took like an evening and then an afternoon and then it was built. So anyways, that long winded explanation just to say that, um, this is like a, um, I called it the Sulani Ocean Center because the name I wanted to give it was way too long and it wouldn't fit. <laughs> but I was going to be, it was supposed to be like Sulani, like conservation and museum center, but that was way too long and it wouldn't allow that many characters. So I just put Sulani Ocean Center. So it's a museum, like the actual lot type is museum. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what it is. And I just really like it. I will say like I put the lot over on this side to kind of make space for some kind of like parking lot or whatever. But I guess it doesn't really make sense because Solani doesn't really have like roads. Like it's just kind of walking paths and stuff. So that might not make a lot of sense, but it's here. I did put like bike racks and stuff because I feel like if anything, people in Solani are probably just going to use like obviously like boats and stuff to get around but also like would have like bikes and stuff for the island i don't know maybe not but that's how my brain went um but yeah let's get into the tour so there's obviously um like i think there's three floors in this build which is kind of crazy because i don't think i usually do things that have three floors but there's like a basement not a basement but you'll basically see so this is the entrance um right here i did build this and you'll see why uh, later on when i show you but this is the entrance so if we go inside um this is like the entrance here and i did ucc in this build um just for you know immersion and so it looked like an actual like kind of museum place but this is uh where you walk in and there's a cute little whale art here and then this is the like front desk area where you obviously go and get like tickets and whatever stuff that you need to go on the tour in the museum um so there's like a nice front desk here and then on this side um is like a little daycare thing um i'm assuming this is like rules for like ages and like sign up information or something and then there's like little like drawings and stuff that kids that have like been staying in this little area made um over time they just kind of put it there um and like i think obviously that's like the sign to be like hey this is like a daycare center where you can kind of like check in here um and then if you have kids that don't want to do the whole walk of the museum then you can check them into the daycare thing room for like a couple hours in the day but it's pretty simple i didn't do a lot in here it's just got some ocean themed stuff and some little toys and things this is actually a piece of cc and it's a toy that's also offered in the gift shop because i wanted to do a gift shop in the museum as well so that's something that you can actually purchase well i mean you can't technically because the lot type isn't retail but you know for immersion's sake this is something that's in the gift shop um and yeah it's just like a simple little play area 
um, for like sim kids and stuff to go in there if you don't want them if you're like visiting you don't want your like toddler or something to be um, walking because we don't have like a back carrier I guess specifically for toddlers so there's not really <laughs> anywhere to put them so you can put them in there and then over here is like just like a little thing I put these little like menu stands because I thought they kind of looked like you know obviously the little like posts and stuff they have at museums with like information about like the artifacts and things so that's what we have here some artifacts a little stand there and then over here um, is the cool little like aquarium area and it's got these cool whales um or orcas but i think they're considered whales but anyways it's got the little hanging orcas here and um this is from a set by i think soft pine yeah they did like a whale museum set so i used a lot of that and syb also has an aquarium set so i used that as well um those are like i think the biggest um custom content sets that i use for this build but anyways i really like this part <laughs> i like the windows that are like kind of angled um i think it's from the desert lux pack that like lets all the light in i just really like the way it looks um but yeah there's these um areas and obviously you can come down the stairs here and um there's like the gift shop in here and the aquariums under here but first i think we're gonna go upstairs um so you have this area here obviously every single place needs like some kind of bathroom so these are the bathrooms in here it's pretty simple it has a little changing spot for your toddlers and everything like that oh, there's some plants kind of sneaking in there um yeah it's like super simple it's not really special i just built a bathroom and then if you go up here behind the front desk there's some stairs and it leads up into the uh second floor here um you come up the stairs there's some like seating and things up here Whoop, the camera um there's some seating and stuff up here some nice windows letting some light in in the morning a piece of art there and then there, here's some like information and stuff on different like you know ocean wildlife and things like that some facts and then over here is this little diorama <laughs> that i really love um it's a little ocean diorama and it's got like you know obviously facts and stuff about the whales and different things um, and I really like this. I don't know. I just really like I I saw this these are like the like wall Deco pieces from I think it was um, Dine out and I, I don't remember who I saw but I saw someone use this as a background for when they made like a big aquarium thing And I was like that would be so cool to use for like a diorama. So I don't know where I saw that but That's where I kind of got that idea from but yeah, there's this nice diorama thing here a little tank over here with some information stand about like you know the fish and stuff that would be swimming in there um and then the sitting area a little trash can here another like pedestal thing with like information about the fish that are in this piece right over here and then i wanted to be able to have like a place for your sims to eat because i find like most museums and things like that have um, those areas so it has nice lighting also in most times of the day so like in the morning it comes through these angled windows where there's like seating um, here for sims and stuff to eat some of the chairs i decided to make skewed so the ones that are like kind of skewed like that like this i think it's actually only these two um in here but the ones that are skewed like that obviously aren't um usable but i just wanted to make it look a little bit more realistic because having them all in a straight line looked kind of weird to me um so yeah, they're all, um, there's like seating here, seating in um, the middle over here. There's a nice little place for you to get water to fill up. And um, then there's like this kind of like outdoor, cause it is technically outdoors, um, which is why the lighting's different from in here to out here. Because I put these um, like wooden post thingies. Um, I think it's from Eco Lifestyle that they're from. Because um, I just thought it makes sense to have like an indoor outdoor like type of vibe because it's obviously in Sulani um, and the temperature would be really tropical. So I made it like an indoor outdoor sort of thing so you could like feel the breeze as you eat <laughs> and um, I don't know, talk about the cool facts that you learned. Um, if you're like, I don't know, on a field trip maybe, if you wanted to like um, make up 
a scenario where your sims are on a field trip or if they're just on a trip with their family or something like that to salani um or if they work here then they could come up here and get a bite to eat um but yeah another little seating area here to lounge on and then we have this area which is obviously like where you get food from the cafeteria and it is functional i did play test this so it is functional um you just have to like click on this and then when you visit the museum and then a service worker sim will come and work here it does cost money i think there's a mod um that you can get where you can click on like objects like this and it'll get an npc worker to come but you don't have to pay a fee uh i don't remember what that mod's called but i know that exists maybe if like you google it um you can find it but i know there's one like that if you don't want to pay i think it's like a hundred bucks so it gets kind of expensive um but yeah there's that mod if you want or you can just like cheat and get the household funds back um in your um household funds if you want to do that but yeah anyways it's just this um little cafeteria and i just really like this honestly i like the way that it turned out it's got a little fish things hanging on the post here and yeah i just really like it um obviously like lighting comes through these windows these windows are so weird um <laughs> I think they're from, are they from Eco Lifestyle? I can't remember where they're from. Oh no, they're from Get Together. Um, yeah, I have, I put these windows in here just cause I thought they looked like unique. Um, and I, I think they kind of look like they'd be in the ocean. I don't know, like the vibes of it look oceany to me. It look, kind of looks like how coral looks sometimes. So I thought that'd be like an interesting touch to put. Um, in the museum but yeah so I think that's it for this floor there's no like top floor or anything but that's the top floor and then obviously um, we can go down here to this area which is my favorite area <laughs> of the build um, and yeah so we go down here you obviously like go down the stairs um, into this area and it's got the big window so this is the part that kind of like goes down these big stairs over here there's some like foliage outside from Solani um, and then you can go in these big doors and it leads to this space down here where there is a gift shop and um, obviously like the tanks of fish and stuff like that and actually for some reason like um, if the game is paused or you're in build by it won't show it but there are I did get like these mods and stuff and they're linked in the CC folder so you can find them um, it's like in the CC list um, on the downloaded folder that'll be in the description. Um, but yeah, basically I got this mod that um, animates like fish. So you know how like with that update, um, we got like those placeable like pond effects. So if you go down here, we have like the cro crocodile um, or alligator, sorry. And then like the swans and ducks and stuff like that. Uh, so these are like the little like prints like this and then obviously if you go into like live mode then there'll be like swans and like air ducks or whatever you put down like animating like swimming in water basically someone named Bakey made these cool um, like fish ones so you can like place them in pools and stuff like that and then uh, fish will appear so I put a bunch of like different kinds of fish you can kind of see them in there without the glare of the window but yeah there's like different fish in here and i put little clownfish i thought that was cute <laughs> and yeah so there's a bunch of fish in here and then um you can't see them for some reason unless you're in live mode but i did put there's like sharks that um bakey also put in so there's gonna be animated sharks like swimming around in here which i thought was pretty cool um so yeah that's cool so this is like the biggest tank here i actually built it like it's like a pool and then i just put like rocks and stuff in here um but yeah so that's the biggest tank and then we come over here and then we have like the smaller tanks here with some fish in them and like facts and stuff to read about um little benches here some more tanks a little information board here and then there's like a different separate sort of room with maybe like different species of fish from different places in here so yeah all of them are kind of like you know i put lights in them to like kind of color it a certain way so that it would feel like the vibes were right you know everyone knows how i am with lighting <laughs> if you've watched my videos before so 
I had to get the lighting how I wanted it because when I go to mu or like a museum or aquarium or whatever, it usually has really like dim lighting, but it's always like kind of colorful. So that's kind of what I was going for um, with the vibes down here in the aquarium area. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much um, it for the, you know, like fish tanks and stuff like that. Um, I, I had to work with the size of the lot, so I put it right to the edge as much as I could. Um, I could have used this space, I guess, if I didn't do the parking lot area, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I could have expanded it in the future, or you guys could expand it if you would like to um, have more tanks. But I thought this was a pretty good size to like, I don't know, if you're storytelling or you wanted to take screenshots or if your sims were just kind of there for the day because they can obviously click on the tanks and view them. Um, so they can watch the fish and stuff like that but yeah um then obviously there's the gift shop which is very themed and cool with all the foliage outside um and then you go inside the gift shop here and then there's like the register to buy all the stuff and there's some this is from the same set where like the hanging whales and like fish facts and stuff came from um, so it's like merch for like the museum and I'm assuming obviously like these are like the prices for the shirt But I think they probably go to like conservation efforts and like funds and stuff like that um, Like the stuff that you get from the gift shop at least in my head. This is like storytelling <laughs> That I was thinking about but I feel like if you got things from the shop then you could um, You know put some funds towards the conservation efforts in Solani and there's some pictures here and different things in here and I just put this big whale tail because it just felt right um, inside of the um, gift shop and yeah I don't know it's, it's really cute in here I like it and um, there's like different pricing boards and stuff for this and you can see here is the um, octopuses that I was talking about earlier that came with the um, Cybulette set um, with like the fish tanks and stuff they had these little plushies <laughs> which are super cute so I think that they sell these obviously for like the kids and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, they have like lanterns that you can buy, some vases and stuff, some like merchandise here, some more toys and stuff here for kids. And yeah, it's a nice little gift shop. And then if we go through here, because I did want to make um, this more of like a functional build other than just museum, because I feel like museum lots in this game are kind of boring because you just go there and you you click on stuff and your sim looks at it and that's it. <laughs> so I wanted it to be a little bit more interesting by having obviously like the cafeteria up here so your sims can go and eat in here um, and then like they can view stuff and everything like you would with a normal lot but they can come and eat here. Maybe they come, they're like, you know, in university or something and they like to go and like sit here and study because I did actually put that as a lot trait the study spot trait um so if your university students come here and like do studying then it, their skills will go up faster so um yeah i just wanted to make it more functional i guess for gameplay and less more boring um but that's kind of why i included the um room over here that is like there's like a little sign here it's supposed to be like for conservation i don't know but i just thought that looked like a conservation symbol looking sticker so there's like a sign on it that's like obviously you're not supposed to go in here unless you're unless you're like authorized personnel um but through this door is like another door in here and then it comes into the conservation like workspace here so i think like some conservationists um work from this um what's it called like wildlife center this museum um, so they come in here and then they can get work done, They're, you know, the samples that you can take from like different piles, because if you've played the conservationist career, um, you can take like different samples and stuff from garbage or like ocean samples and things like that and then analyze it. So I just put like some science-y looking <laughs> stuff here and like tables over here so that they can analyze whatever they got from the ocean and like look at different things. I put this like monitor thing from strangerville but i thought that looked oceany enough that maybe they're like tracking like an invasive species or like a new thing they found i don't know that's kind of like what i was thinking about with that um and yeah they just have like different things maybe like awards that they've won for their efforts and different you know cabinet spaces this little thing here for their when they have to go diving and stuff like that individual lockers for them 
and just like a bookshelf, some more storage space. And then what I was pretending was going to be like surfboards because we don't have surfing, but I feel like maybe they would like have paddle boards or like surfboards or something. So I put those up there as well. Um, but yeah, it's like not like a huge space, but I think it's big enough um, to just like have your sims come here because they have to do some like computer work, I'm pretty sure, in the conservationist career. Um, so they can come and like do that and everything. And yeah, I really like this space. Um, and it obviously like looks outside to like where people come down to go into like the big aquarium area. So they still have some, you know, even though it's kind of like technically in the basement, they have like light and um you know they can see outside so it's not like depressing or anything um but yeah so now this museum is functional for obviously museum things because your sims can click on the tanks and everything and view them um this i guess is mostly just for show but um yeah it's supposed to be like a gift shop and then um you know there's like the cafeteria upstairs here so i don't know i just wanted like different things for gameplay reasons or storytelling reasons um because i do a bit of both when i play the game i feel like i will take my sims somewhere and like take little screenshots of them doing things um but obviously i wanted the gameplay there as well so if you are playing the conservationist career then they can come and work in here and yeah i think that's it for this build i really love this build i wasn't expecting to build this when i sat down um like a couple days ago and did it i just was like oh, i'll just build like a community lot because i'm not um building community lots very often so this was kind of like weird for me <laughs> to build um but i had a lot of fun doing it and yeah i hope that everyone enjoys this build um if you'd like to down down blah, blah, blah. sorry <laughs> tongue twister today i think it's just because i'm tired um, but if you would like to download this, there is a folder, um, or sorry, a download link in the description and that will take you to some file share where you can get the folder of it and it comes with the tray files and a CC list. Um, the CC list is very short because they didn't use a whole lot of, um, sets. I think there's six in there, like six links for like six different sets I used and that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's not that much CC, but, um, yeah, I really like this build. So I hope you guys also like this build. Um, let me know if you're going to use it in your game, maybe like with some stories that you're going to tell, or, um, if you guys wanted like to have a Sawani museum, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys next time. Um, probably with a speed build. I, I don't think I'm going to do another, um, tour video back to back, but yeah, probably with some kind of speed build. And yeah, so I'll see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.